Hi, welcome to this week's episode of Gardener's Plot, what's new in the garden. So the plan of action is for today is to dig up potatoes, that is if I've got any. I'm not holding my breath, but we'll see what pops up. Um, and then I'm going to try and do a bit of maintenance on the chicken coop today. The gate still giving me a bit of trouble, so I need to refix the gate. And I'm just going to move a few things around in there. Um, but I'll explain that when we get down to the chickens. Um, so yeah, update on this little squeak here. You're still not forgiving me for Wednesday. But everything went okay. Snip, snip. He seems to be doing alright, he's recovering well. So about a week's time I'll have to remove the stitches. Um, and then we can get my girlfriend. Interesting thing about guinea pigs, a little interesting fact. They can actually breed at three weeks old, guinea pigs. And they, their gestation period is at nine weeks. So with most rodents, it's three weeks to, well, three to four weeks for a normal rodent. But with guinea pigs, they, are, um, they have that extended period. So when the babies are actually born, their eyes are open, their ears are open, they're f fully furred and running around straight away. So that's why their breeding age is so young, it's because they're quite advanced already. So with mice, they, mice are three weeks gestation and then they're weaned at three weeks and then they're sexually active about six to seven weeks age. So yeah, so it's about right, but the guinea pigs are just in the oven for a little bit longer. So now that he's had a snip, I'll give him another couple of weeks and then we'll start looking for a girlfriend for him. Right. Oh, you put your nose up about that, didn't you? Right. I'm going to finish the coffee and we'll dig up potatoes. Right. See you all in a bit. Right. Here's the potato bed. Wish me luck. Right, here's my hole. I think these are red rooster right there. We have a little guest. Morning. Help yourself. Um, so yes, I think these were red rooster ones I put in. And these were some new potatoes. Again, I couldn't tell you exactly what they are. Not the biggest birds in the world. That one, I have no idea. Just random. And then I find one random little parsnip. <laughs> little ditty parsnip. <laughs> There's a few little ones, like tiny, tiny potatoes. <laughs> but, um, <clears throat> not bad, I can have new potatoes. So yeah. Some of these I might just save and chip and plant later on in the year especially like the little small ones i'll go through them properly and take out all the little small ones and perhaps use those as seeds for next year he's back i feel like we should give it a name gender or neutral name because we don't know if it's a male or female robin put in the comments if you have a suggestion for a name for the robin there you go <laughs> Potato hole done while I'm here. Little update on the rhubarb. What I planted the other week. They seem to be doing alright. This soil is lovely though. Because I mulched it and everything. It's full of worms and stuff. So it's really good soil there. Plant this is where I'm going to plant more potatoes later on in the year. And I was going to plant radishes, but I think we're due a really cold stuff and possibly some snow. So I'm going to hold off, I think, for a couple more weeks, just in case you get a mass of snowfall. Alright, potato's done. 
All right, do excuse the mess. They are being cleaned out today. It's a little bit overdue. But the plan is to bring that crate out and then move this one to this side and create a double cage so I can bring the rabbits down so I can start planting up Saskia's Avery. Because as soon as I put anything in there, they'll just eat it. But at least this way they've got a nice good run away from the chickens so they don't have to worry about sort of getting manky with the chickens. And the eventual plan is to actually build the rabbits their own enclosure over there. But I'm kind of waiting on materials to build that so this is why I'm just going to set this up temporarily in here. So yes, busy busy, that's going to be a bit dirty. Right, let's crack on. All I'm going to do now is the gate. <laughs> um, so, inside the coop, they've got various branches that they can um, perch on and roost. Girls do like to get up high. I've only got one nest box because I've had multiple and they only use the one, so. Um, it's a little bit more easier access for me. It's nice and covered as well now. Set that up for the rabbits. I don't know if I'll move them today. Um, I might leave them out until the first sort of snow we get and then I'll move them in here so it's a bit more better for them. And I'll cover this with um, plastic as well so it'll be protected against the elements. They can have their kennel in there. They've got a little box to dig in if they want. So they've got nice enough space. A rabbit should be able to hop three times in its enclosure. So that should be more than enough for them. And then I can, like I said, build them their big enclosure right there. Right, time to fix the gate. And I think that'll be it for today. There you go. Chicken's finally done. One last thing was um, Shaz from Kingstone 8 wanted, to, wanted me to give a peanut to Saskia, so this is for you. Alright. There you go. <laughs> 